All right, we're back. So I'm going to read from the general course overview. So scroll down to your syllabus, um, page one, I think, of general course overview. It says, the original course title, American Trauma Narratives, Gendered Violence and Healing, sets an ambitious, ambitious trajectory for a single semester. It demands that we examine American writings, bodies, films, and music to find clues not only about the writer's own trauma, but also about your own trauma. In this brief summer term, we'll watch video clips, read books and poetry, and scour contemporary American culture for signs of trauma awareness and the will, backed by a feminist political movement, to heal. heal. Throughout our search, we'll discuss the way that gender intersects with trauma, healing, and recovery in order to understand the myriad ways males, females, transgenders, and intersexes experience our and their bodies, minds, and sexualities. We're not all having male and female experiences, as it turns out. We're all experiencing our genders differently, some vastly so. This course seeks to better understand what causes psychological trauma, how those traumas are stereotyped with gender biases, and how linking gender and trauma leads us to unfairly label some people untraumatizable. And I think I have a spelling error there, I apologize. Relying heavily on technology and self-education through participation and activism, this course is designed to guide you through an introduction to the ever-expanding and diverse fields of women and gender studies, particularly feminism's current focus on gendered psychological trauma. And as academic study of trauma is relatively new, textbooks are expensive and hard to find. So in addition to the textbooks you should purchase, which I showed you already, each of you will build your own reference manual that includes sources not found in your textbook. I will help you to compile readings and videos on women, men, feminism, masculinity, and sexuality, so by the time the semester is over, you will understand the broad scope of the intersecting and overlapping disciplines of women, gender studies, and trauma theory. This secondary text that you will create um, from extra class stuff, as well as research you gather on your own, will aid you in your final project, a th which is going to be a thorough study of one of the sub-themes of this course, and then here I relist the sub-themes that I listed above in the course description. Rapeability, unrapeability, identity crisis, psychosomatic connections, intimate partner response responsibility, hypervigilance or hyperarousal, performance, safety, narrative, storytelling. If you don't know the names of these or don't understand their concepts, don't worry, you will. We're going to go through these in the course, the course of the next couple of weeks. Um, so here's the nitty-gritty of what each week actually entails, so that you'll know exactly how much time you're supposed to be putting into this um, and how much time I, I expect for those students who wish to make really good grades in this class. So this sort of next paragraph pro probably describes the A student in this course. Each week, you will be responsible for 100 to 150 pages of reading from the textbook, free internet, novels, and PDF articles that I'll send you through your EKU email account or through posting them on Facebook. Usually I'll post them on Facebook. You should critically read each article, each chapter, or watch any accompanying videos that I post, sometimes rereading or re-watching until you're sure that you understand the scope of these readings or videos. So let's take, for example, a video that we'll watch called Deb Young's Children of a Lesser God. She speaks with a, with a specifically sort of Caribbean accent and so it's kind of hard to understand what she's saying. It may benefit you to watch this video more than once until you're sure you get what she's saying. Similarly, sometimes when you're reading um, Judith, Com Judith Herman's Trauma and Recovery, there are going to be words and concepts that you don't understand right off the bat that are new or that are unfamiliar to you or that are used in a different context than they normally would be used. In those types of situations, it's going to benefit the A student to look up the stuff on the internet, go to dictionary.com, or look up the Oxford English Dictionary, or um, look them up on the Princeton's Word WordNet, and you can Google that and find it. Anyway, however you do it, you need to keep a dictionary or a dictionary.com near, nearby to look up the words that you don't understand, and to sort of reference the psychological phrases that she uses that you might not be familiar with. A lot of uh, summer stuff is about self-learning, as the next sentences imply. The class depends on your enthusiastic engagement, so it's up to you how much effort you put into, into understanding difficult vocabulary or heretofore un foreign concepts. You'd be surprised at how much better you'll understand new information if you keep a dictionary site and a Google search screen up on your nearby computer. Take the initiative in this online class to teach yourself. Each week, Monday through Wednesday, and this kind of is the breakdown of the weeks, 
Each week, Monday through Wednesday, you will have conversations with me, the instructor, and the other students through informal, loose Facebook wall chatter. So each week I'll post videos on Facebook wall or a, a comment for your, for your ideas on Facebook wall. And you can comment directly onto the main wall of our Facebook page. Or there's also the uh, general discussion board, which is open for you to kind of start to explore the themes, to get other people's opinions on your themes, to kind of maybe get some ideas for that end of the week post that you'll have to make, which I'll discuss in a minute. Uh, but I see the discussion board as a place for you to really start to generate ideas that will turn into your final paper or that will turn into your final project in this course. So it should be reserved for a, as a place for um, scholarly conversation, conversation where you will help other members of the class to um, further their thoughts and ideas by referencing them to outside sources or by referencing them to places in the textbook that they might not have studied quite specifically enough. Um, but this place is a place for scholastic banter. The discussion board is a place for scholastic banter. And so if you want to have less formal discussion, we can create a less formal discussion board where you guys can just kind of ramble on and off about personal stuff or whatever. Um, but remember that these discussion boards are a place for scholastic, ban scholastic volleying of ideas. So the back and forth that will help all of us to sort of uh, raise our intellectual goals for this class. Uh, let me get back in here where I'm talking about. Let me check my time first. All right, we got a couple more minutes. Um, so each week, Monday through Wednesday, you will have conversations with the instructor and other students through informal, loose Facebook wall chatter. This will pl take place on discuss Facebook discussion boards clearly labeled for each specific topic. At the end of each week, on Thursdays and Fridays, you will post a more formal academic response to the wall of that week's Facebook event. So the Facebook is divided into maybe possibly three different sections. You've got the main wall, which is where you go when you hit WGS 300 American Trauma Narratives or whatever. When you hit that button, this is the page that you go to, the main Facebook wall. That's where I'll post syllabi, videos for your perusal, outside information, articles that I looked at this week and thought were interesting, and things like that. I'll post um, any additional readings will be on that main Facebook wall, and then you guys can feel free to comment right onto those things and have a conversation that way as well. Um, the secondary place will be the discussion board, which you'll find in that top tab of our wall called Discussions. And then the third place, where you'll be posting your Thursday, Friday, end of the week, more formal assignments, that's the events wall on our Facebook page. So if you go to our Facebook page, they're right there at the very top, and you can just hit uh, back and forth between them, main wall, uh, discussions, and events. Okay. You can navigate to these separate sections of our Facebook group using the tabs at the top of the Facebook group wall, primarily discussions and events. Each time you use the event wall, you have to mark yourself as attending before you can actually participate in that wall. I see these events, end of the week events wall postings, more like uh, formal academic essays. You would normally write them up in a Microsoft Word document and then submit them to me through safe assignments. But because I want to keep all of our chatter and all of our discussion very transparent and open, um, I, I want you to post those more formal discussions at the end of the week on that events wall. So consider them so consider those assignments a little bit like safe assignment of essay postings. I would even suggest that you compose them in an alternative window um, in like Microsoft Word or something like that and get them edited and revised the way that you like them, then copy and paste them onto the Facebook um, events wall. And that will make for better essays and better reading for me. Um, we have very little time on this video left, and so I'm still not even halfway through the syllabus, so let me just finish off this video by saying when you're posting on the events wall, you're going to have to do a couple of different things. The very first thing that you're going to do is comment at the very bottom of the wall with the title of your post. Then you will reply to that comment, the title comment, with the body of your essay. So I've already posted one on the first events wall to sort of show you. I put post title here, post body of essay here. And we'll give it a couple of weeks to make sure everybody's getting on the right track there before I start really uh, coming down hard on you. But for the first couple of weeks, make sure that you're really um, posting the way that you see me post and the way that you see other people's post. Because otherwise, Facebook cuts you off at a certain word count and then you don't get everything said that you want to get said. So uh, let me change videos and then hopefully I'll finish the video, the, the syllabus in the next 10 minutes.